It's like something out of Lord of the Rings here. Welcome to Mordor. So you can get a little bit of wood, start firing the hut, and then cook up a little tar for dinner. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Under Armour. Never detected, always lethal. And by G5, designed to hunt. Carbon Express, shoot better. GTAC Safety Harness, experience the freedom to hunt. And by Prime, accuracy is everything. It's gonna be a beast of a pack out of here. Go fire, eat it, take it out of my stomach. Maybe at that threshold where it's like, I could be that guy that just goes crazy. I'm back. Up here, boy. Welcome to Mordor. Oh, she's all loaded up. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom. Look at that guy. Hungry, eat, thirsty, drink. Cold, make a fire. You wonder why I'm crazy? That's why. The Himalayan tar, it's the king of the alpine. They inhabit the most treacherous landscapes in the world. New Zealand's southern alps are just that, steep and treacherous. The mountains jut straight up from the valley floor. Just getting to a place to hunt can be an adventure in itself. You can drive as far up the river valley as you dare. With multiple river crossings, it does not take long before I find myself in a place so remote and wild, few have ventured into it. chilly this morning. Glassing straight up from the bottom like this isn't bad, it just gets your neck. You gotta, you gotta get positioned because essentially you're pretty much almost looking straight up. Sun's just starting to hit this face here so I'm hoping to catch something that's feeding uh, this morning because it's about a morning and evening deal. I'm gonna be feeding in the morning and then feeding in the evening again. Probably go up into the cliffs and bed during the day. So if I see him feeding up, what I'll do is I'll just get up to where I last saw him and then wait for him to come back out again in the evening. Done a bit of glassing up the river bottom this morning, and uh, the river is just getting a little too deep to cross in some places in the vehicle. So I'm just going to park it here and uh, head up into the bush. Um, I'm going into a hut that I bow hunted before, but uh, never rifle hunted this spot. So I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to find a tar up here to take with a gun, and maybe even a chamois or two. Um, you never know. It's a nice thing about hunting in New Zealand is sometimes it can be a mixed bag. You might uh, go out with the intention of shooting, say, a tar or a deer, and then spot something else. And if you're able to take the opportunity when it arises, then that's sweet too. So I'm just gonna work up the trail and look for a tar, maybe even possibly run into a chamois or something. opening and this little waterfall and these giant vehicles. 
Got a good view. Lunch with view, not bad. Check it out. The official knives and game processing sets for Solo Hunter are from Outdoor Edge. Quality knives and tools for all your outdoor adventures. Protected by Venture Medical Kits and survive outdoors longer. Expect the unexpected. For all of our season updates or to share your photos and videos with the world, search us out at Solo Hunter TV on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Caldwell Shooting Supplies. Versatility for every shooter, accuracy for every shot, only from Caldwell. This place looks perfect for tar. I'm well over 3,000 feet from where I started and couldn't ask for a better day. It's moments like this that make me come back year after year. I made it up above the Alpine. I'm just gonna walk, work my way up this canyon and, and glass. There's this nice basin in front of me and these big rock pinnacles. So what I'm thinking is they'll probably feed over into the tussock right before dark and that will give me my chance. I probably won't have a whole lot of time, so it's gonna be pretty quick once I spot them, but I think it's a pretty good vantage point where I can see this whole basin. Plus, I don't wanna be walking around too much and, and maybe spook a bedded one. It's like something out of Lord of the Rings here. Welcome to Mordor. I was just walking up the trail. I happened to look up as I was filming. And I just saw him walking right up. Yeah, that's a bull too. I'm gonna get set up on him here. The sun shining. Moving down already. Oh yeah. I think he might be a shooter. I'm gonna put the spotting scope on him and then run the camera through the spotting scope. Switch her in here. He's coming down quite a ways. I think I'm going to try to move up to this next rock and then try to relocate him because if I can get up to this next pinnacle or this next little point, um, I'll be out of sight, out of the sun, pop up, and as long as he doesn't go too far over, I should have a two to 300 yard shot. So I think I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my stuff together and make a move before he goes way too far. I don't wanna be chasing him. This bull at 330 yards. He just dipped out of sight. I don't want to shoot because I don't know what's below him. There looks like a waterfall above him. I don't want to get him in a cliff where I can't get him. So I'm gonna hustle up now that he's out of sight and try to get in on him. I'm gonna probably be within 50 yards, so it's gonna be quick shooting. Now is when you wish you had the bow.
That was awesome. Oh man, of course, when I bring the rifle and decide to do a rifle hunt, I shoot him within bow range. It was a perfect stock. The wind was blowing just across. The waterfall covered my noise and the sun was behind me. I think um, I had th this GoPro on my head, but the battery died before I got the shot off. And then I set the other one down below me on my way up. He was just like 55 yards. Um, so I didn't have to, I mean, he was close enough. I just kind of shot off hand from my knees. But that was cool. That was really cool. Solo Magnified is brought to you by Vortex, the force of optics. A promise is the foundation of good business. Vortex Optics calls it the VIP warranty. It's unlimited, unconditional, and lifetime no matter what the problem is. No matter how the problem occurred, no matter how old the product is. Maybe it was an accident, maybe it was your fault, or even your dog's. No matter what happened, we've got you covered. No product registration. No receipts to hang on to, just grab a box, fill out a form, ship them their product, and no hassle, no questions asked. They stand behind the quality and performance of their products, and their commitment to you extends far beyond the initial purchase. They promise. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Random Gear, makers of the Solo Hunter rifle cover, your gun's best protection against the elements. Phone Scope, digiscoping accessories for your smartphones, pads, GoPros, and DSLRs. The future of digiscoping is here. I climbed up the mountain and just shot a tar at almost 50 yards. Trouble is, I didn't see what was below him. He happened to land right at the top of a pretty steep waterfall. Now I'm gonna have to figure out how to get down to this animal and get him out. He is right at the top of a waterfall. <laughs> I think I'll be able to get to him though. Nice. The cameras don't do any justice to my situation. It's steep, slick, and a long ways to the bottom. One wrong step, and it could be my last. I have no other option but to find what looks like the best route and go for it. I am completely alone and have no way of contacting anyone if things go bad. It is the danger associated with going solo. tar hunting. It's probably one of my favorite animals to chase. It's just the country. I mean, where else can you go hunting and have to think about dragging an animal off the top of a waterfall? That's uh, few and far between in the hunting world. It's just beautiful country and just just an awesome animal to, to come after and hunt. I'm really blessed to be up here and, and to be able to do this, especially to be able to do it completely unguided and uh, to do it on my own, on public land. I mean, it's just, there's so many opportunities here in New Zealand. Take advantage while it's snowing. Just to show you why. You know why I packed the rifle cover. It's snowing here and it's cold enough that the snow is not really wet, so it kind of falls off. But you can see the inside of my gun, the scope, the action. Everything is protected from the snow. Extremely water resistant, but it also helps when you're going through the brush and uh, keeping any debris or anything out of your your scope or into your action. If I need to get it off quick, it just pops off real quick. You know, it's just an elastic, a series of elastic bands holding it. So it has an el two elastics on the bottom, one on each side. And then it has two elastics on the side, 
giving it a nice form fit around the rifle until it's time to pull the trigger. Uh, this rifle cover is on my rifle. Solo Hunter is brought to you by Carbon Express Arrows. Shoot better, shoot Carbon Express. And by True Fire releases, don't settle for anything less. After shooting a tar yesterday, I make my way to the highest place I can into a little valley I suspect holds some chamois. I found this spot in the rocks and uh, I've just got this really good view of this basin in front of me. Uh, so I'm just going to watch it and see if I can't spot a chamois. Uh, I've got some clouds kind of coming in uh, off and on so it makes glassing a little tough but I'm hoping that uh, I can get a little bit of a clearing and then maybe spot something. Before they get over that ridge and get into position. Sham, or well, actually a mob of chamois, and um, I climbed up here, and they're kind of running all over the place. And they're starting to run a little bit, so I climbed up here and uh, picked what I thought was the biggest one out of the group, shot, and uh, sure enough, after they're chasing each other, another which was you know the next best one in the group came up and gave me a shot. So I doubled up on two free-range chamois. <laughs> I was looking to shoot one chamois and another buck came out right where I was shooting at the other one and I ended up with two bucks back to back. There's a lot of cliff around here. I happened to catch these things right in the open. right here. That's two good representations of Shammy. Awesome. Cool. Whoa. Nice. It's a good looking chamois. It's a beautiful cape on it. That'll be awesome. Luckily they aren't too big. I can fit two chamois boned out with my gear pretty easy. Oh, I'm gonna get these things cut up, packed out. That's awesome. Awesome, beautiful animal. Yeah, these are cool. Nice. Almost camp. And uh, just gonna get a little bit of wood, start firing the hut, and then cook up a little dinner. Yeah, that was a good day. <laughs> Some trips just go better than you could plan. This was one of those trips. Fresh meat over an open fire is what it is all about for me. I chased some tough animals in some tough country on their terms and came out the victor. Tomorrow, I'm headed down the mountain with a full stomach, a heavy pack, and some great memories. But for right now, I'm just going to enjoy my last night of solitude. Roll the back window up. <laughs> uh. 
I've been wet. <laughs> so.